friends, it's Christy with AG Takes Over. Um, about, I don't know, recently I posted asking for advice about um, whether or not to re-wig my Truly Me 55 because she, I'll put a picture of her here. She represents my childhood mini me. She's not from my childhood, but she represents me as a child. And the advice was overwhelmingly almost unanimous just get a second 55 and keep that one and have a modern or like a current reflection of you mini me all right don't have to twist my arm so somebody who'd watched that video reached out to my wife on instagram and said hey somebody on instagram is selling this truly me 55 so grace looked at it said she looks really in great shape do you want to go for this one she's 75 shipped okay I had already put in requests on Facebook Marketplace to a few people, but I was waiting to hear back. So I was like, all right, um, who's selling it? And she told me, and it's somebody that we had purchased from before, that Grace had purchased something from before. So I was like, all right, I feel better about trusting that person. Um, so let's do that. And I think right before I paid, somewhere in their conversation, because she reached out to the seller, and somewhere in their conversation, the seller said, she has been rewigged. And Grace was like, that's fine. We'll still take her because my wife is going to take off her wig anyway. I was like, all right, cool. So she arrived yesterday. Her wig is beautiful. I am concerned that um, what if whoever put this wig on went glue crazy and it's going to be a mess to get off. So I don't know if that remains to be seen. But watch this video clip real quickly of me unboxing the doll and see if you notice something faster than I did. Did you catch it? If you did, I'm proud of you. Um, I did not because I was just on a break from work and I was super excited and the doll arrived like in a box that was too long, I mean too short to be a doll box. So I was like, oh, if this is the doll, she's bent. So she wasn't like mush, but she was at an angle. So I was more focused on what's this wig like out of curiosity and did she get damaged at all because she was not sent, you know, laying flat and just does she have any spots and scuffs and whatnot. And then it wasn't until last night when I went up here, I came up here to film like a side by side with Sydney, my first Truly Me 55, that this happened. Okay, so here is Sydney. And here is the new girl. Oh. Hmm. Well, she has lined eyebrows. Yeah. So, um, that's been fun today. We, Grace reached out to the seller and like part of me is like, why did I not notice this? Why did I not notice this? And I'll tell you why, because when somebody who's a collector and you've purchased things from before advertises the doll as a 55, your brain automatically goes, it's a 55. I'm not even questioning that. So you automatically start looking at other things like, are the limbs tight? You know, it's like your brain goes, take it for granted that it's a 55. Are the limbs tight? Blah, 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 blah. We like near as I can tell, this is a 24. Let me know what you think, but they, there are very, very few 
dolls with lined brows and freckles. So 24 with a wig swap and an eye swap is my guess. I don't, what? So Grace reached out to the seller, heard back from her today, and she said, oh, when I bought her a couple years ago, she was advertised as a 55. I always thought she was. Now I'm going to cut myself some slack because it took me a couple of hours to realize and not even like staring at her, her long term. I like looked at her for a couple minutes when I was working and then uh, again in the evening. And as soon as I started looking at her in the evening, especially next to Sydney, I was like, well, duh. Um, but how do you have the doll for a couple years and not realize? And I, and like, I could have held out for the, the, the one of the Facebook seller, Facebook market seller. Oh my God. It's late. One of the market book, <laughs> I may edit this out. Um, one of the sellers from Facebook marketplace that I had reached out to and was kind of waiting to hear back from did respond to me like a day and a half later. So it took a while and I was like, never mind. I already got one. I bet theirs was actually a 55. So this is supposed to be a modern mini me. I don't have lined eyebrows. I don't think the lined eyebrows are really a mini anyone. Nobody's eyebrows look like that. So I don't know. I, my options were see if she would take her back, but she's really pretty. And like that wig is nice. So that would be nice to keep her. So if I'm going to keep her, will she like reimburse me anything? Gonna like, cause if, kind of messed up that I got sold a doll that was not the number that she was advertised to be. So, um, the long story of that is she re reimbursed me $8 and 80 cents for shipping. Grace asked her, would you reimburse the shipping that she, we paid to get her there? And we'll just, Christy's going to figure out something. Um, and she did, but because, and I was like expecting, well, that'll at least get me back about 12 to $15. Cause that's what it costs us to ship dolls. No, because she shipped her in a box where she, you know, a smaller box. So it didn't cost that much. I was like, well, who get $8 and 80 cents back. I know the person did not have ill intent. I'm not, and that's why I'm not saying their name. I'm not going to drag them through the mud, but it's just frustrating. First world problems. I know it's still frustrating. Um, so then I have a doll that I do all my like experiments on. Her name is Jenny. I call her Jenny pig for a reason. Um, cause she's the guinea pig and I took off one of her eyebrows today and I was just playing around to see like, how badly would I do? Because that's not an aspect of customization that I've gotten into or feel comfortable with. And the answer is maybe it would be okay, but this is supposed to be a mini me. And so it's kind of a special project and I don't want maybe okay. Like, So I reached out to a couple of customizers and I said, would you be willing to just like take off this girl's eyebrows and maybe give her, I don't know. I don't, I haven't filled in my eyebrows. I just showered and then filmed, but, um, like closer to Leah's, I don't know. Would you be willing to just do the eyebrows? And so somebody said no and somebody said yes. And, um, so here's my truly me 55. Here's her head. So off she goes in the mail tomorrow on my dime um, to get some eyebrows on her. So hopefully, but in happier news, um, the project is underway and I'm excited about having a mini me. Um, my current mini me is going to need a ring. So if any of you have done like a wedding ring for your dolls and I don't want it to like Mine is, is not like super protruding. It's lovely, but it doesn't like stick way out. So um, looking for ideas. I thought about just doing like um, a little sticky rhinestone, but what could I use for the band? So if you have any ideas, let me know. Um, making a little vinyl five or finding a little vinyl five should be easy enough, but like I, this is a little bit detailed. And I don't think I'm going to be able to do that on a Cricut or a Silhouette machine. So thoughts on that? I mean, I can just leave it off, but 
if I were trying to really do the thing right and I don't want it permanent so I was thinking like a vinyl something or other what else I think that's it those are, those are the only challenges that I still have in my head as I'm watching this you know as I'm imagining it all unfolding but send good energy to the customizer she's going to send me pictures before she seals anything i have not entrusted anybody to redo eyebrows on any of our dolls like none of them have custom brows so i am i am nervous again i know this is like a privileged person's problems but it's a doll channel. You know that. You know that I'm coming from a place of privilege. Um, anyway, that's the drama of the mini me and you'll get updates. Hopefully the next update is just me doing all the things. So I'll be um, doing a wig swap, piercing her nose. Her limbs are in pretty good shape, so that should, that should be fine. Um, giving her a ring, making little some some way to do gauges. Um, tattoos, if I can swing it, we'll see. And then maybe we'll have matching clothes. I don't know. I'll figure out some kind of matching outfit. All right. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the update. Hope you're doing well. See you for my next video.